So a little bit of a different video today, a uh, bit of slightly bit of a different setup. And the reason for that is this video is mainly going to focus on this guy, my MacBook Pro. And when I have the camera like this, you can see my sick dbrand skin. So today we're going to be going over the five Mac apps that I actually use that are completely free. I see a lot of videos on YouTube about this type of stuff, but it's very clear that they never actually use them, but I actually use all of these apps. So let's just jump right in with number one. So the first app I use is called Stats and it is completely free and open source, which is a huge win. It's basically just a bit more of an advanced look at what's going on at your computer. So as you can see right up here in the top of my Mac, I have my RAM usage. It's showing me how much of my RAM is being used, what app is using it, and I can even kill the processes if I want to. And I have the same thing with my CPU. And it's really useful to me because I'm able to see how much RAM my node server is using, for example. And you know, I might need to adjust performance to lower the RAM usage. But it's not just these two. You can go in and you can do any of these guys here. So GPU, RAM, disk, you can even do fans if you like. My main goal was kind of just to get my top menu bar looking quite clean. I think I'm just able to better focus well when like nothing's going on. Like even when I start my Mac in the mornings, I force quit everything. And on that theme, the next app on this list is called Vanilla. So what Vanilla does is Vanilla is this little arrow here. It hides the stuff in my menu bar and when I want to see it, boom. There's some more things that I like in my menu bar, but I don't want them visible all the time, like my tail scale network, the stats network page, and it makes the top menu bar just super clean. The only bad thing I would have to say about vanilla, it, well, it's the same with a lot of the apps on this list, is they're free, but it's a free tier. So there's a paid tier uh, and vanilla, every time you start the app or go into the settings, it asks you to get vanilla pro, which can get slightly irritating. It doesn't pop up when you do nothing. It only pops up when you're interacting with vanilla in some way. So it doesn't just pop up while you're using your Mac, but it is just a little irritating. So with all of my Apple devices, I always have it so that it's light mode in the morning. And then when the sun sets, it switches to dark mode automatically by itself. It's super nice. I like it. I like light mode, unlike most people, but I also definitely like dark mode. So that's a nice way I can kind of get a switch between both of them. But if you've ever used a Mac before, you see that only in the dynamic wallpapers, these are the only wallpapers that will actually change based on whether you're in light mode or dark mode. Uh, but this next app solves that problem. This app is called Umbra. So what Umbra does is it lets you pick a light mode wallpaper and a dark mode wallpaper, and it will automatically switch between both of them when your system does. So as you can see right here, my Mac is currently in light mode because it's like one o'clock outside. And this is my light mode wallpaper. And then this here is my dark mode wallpaper. But you flick of this switch here and you can see it actually switches over. I'll open another window so you can kind of see the effect fully across your whole system. So your whole system is in light mode. There you go. That is super nice. And this is another one that is completely free. So the next app is called Local Send. There's a couple of different apps that actually do this, but Local Send is the one that I found that just works really well. I've never had a reason to look into another one. If you have multiple Apple devices, you've probably used AirDrop before. It's a very convenient way to transfer your files from one device to another. But its problem lies in what I just said. It only works on Apple devices. But even for people who have a lot of Apple devices, like myself. I also have a Windows PC right beside me and it's very annoying when I want to transfer files between something outside of the Apple ecosystem. So that's what local send is for. So if I want to send a file to my Windows PC right beside me, so let's select some file. This is the thumbnail for my last video. There we go. Solid Blueberry wants to send you a file. Yes. And just like that, we are done. Even if you're completely outside of the Apple ecosystem, this is still a great app. It's available on Android, it's available on Windows, it's available on Linux. So the last app that I'm gonna show here is one that you've probably seen, might even use currently before, and that is Raycast, which if you don't know what it is, there you go. That's Raycast. It's basically just a much better, much faster spotlight. And it's also actually now available in Windows. On the surface, it looks pretty similar to the default spotlight, but there's actually a lot of cool things you can do. I click tab and now I'm in an AI conversation. How are you doing today? Thank you, ChatGPT. Very cool. It also has things like commands, clipboard history, and using AI, it lets you search for files on your computer with natural just English language, like where's that PNG from last month with the penguin in it, and it will find that for you. There's also a ton of extensions for this thing. So there you go. Very quick, very simple video today. Uh, if you enjoyed this new setting, let me know. Uh, 99 points, I don't even know at this point, something of you are not subscribed. Out of 1,000 subscribers, I'm setting this as my profile picture, so you should subscribe. 